sometimes you just feel like you're driving through a movie set and that's how I felt when I was driving through the McAllister Groveland or Mac Groveland neighborhood of St. Paul just yesterday. It is December and we finally have snow and the big old homes over there wear it so well. I am a sucker for nostalgia, so I was having a real moment. If you love gorgeous old homes, a walkable neighborhood, bike paths, an easy commute to jobs in St. Paul or Minneapolis, either in your car or by public transit, this neighborhood might be the one to steal your heart. Hi, my name is Mary Schumann. I'm a realtor here, and one of the joys of my job is that I get to see everything that the Twin Cities has to offer, and I get to share that with you. If there is a neighborhood that I've missed so far on my playlist and you're curious about it, just go ahead and drop me a comment down below and I will add it to the schedule. Mac Groveland sits right on the border of Minneapolis and St. Paul in the southwest corner of St. Paul. This map should show you just the boundaries of the neighborhood itself and a few of the things that are featured within it. This neighborhood is home to two private colleges, McAllister College and the University of St. Thomas. And I feel like any time you have a college nearby, you automatically have an infusion of life into a community. The students, teachers, and staff really support the local establishments and the area just feels vibrant. If you really love to gawk at enormous mansions, you can head up to Summit Avenue on the north side of the neighborhood and it has some of the most gracious old homes in the Twin Cities metro area. It's fun just to drive through here and look at the variety. Are these old homes your style or are you into something newer? Leave a comment down below and tell me what kind of house makes you really think of home. Regular people do live here too, so this is a great city neighborhood and the median single family home price here is a little over $407,000. There are condos available and a very, very limited number of townhomes. And just based on the median price, I'm going to guess that there was one townhouse that sold. <laughs> the median price for townhomes came in at $480,000. There are a lot of smaller buildings and a couple of high rises that do have condos available, but the high rise is also not the norm here. If your heart's desire is on Summit Avenue, there currently is one home for sale on that street in McAllister Groveland, and she is a beauty. It's a 1913 Tudor and it's listed at 1.125 million for 4,200 square feet, four bedrooms and five bathrooms. The most expensive home listed in the area right now is at 1.9 million and it actually is sitting facing the Mississippi River. It's a big Mediterranean style brick home with red tile roof, 4,700 square feet, four bedrooms and five bathrooms. But on the other end of the scale, there are a bunch of one and two bedroom and one bath condos in that high rise building on the east side of the neighborhood. They start at about 87,000 and go up to around $150,000. I like to talk about parks and in my opinion, the best park near this neighborhood is the Greenway that lines the Mississippi River. There is a bike trail that goes up and down both sides of the river. It's connected to all different parts of the cities, both St. Paul and Minneapolis, as well as all of the lakes on the Minneapolis side of the river. And shopping is super convenient here too. Inside the neighborhood is a Kowalski's and a Trader Joe's for groceries. And there is also a Whole Foods that is just outside of the neighborhood. To the south of Mac Groveland, I believe there is also a Cub Foods and an Aldi in the Highland Park neighborhood right next door. So for restaurants and small shops, this is a great place to live. This is really what I think of as a walkable area. It's close to coffee shops and all the little things that make city life pleasant. 
Most people do have cars, but there is a lot of public transit available in the area as well. If you are interested in seeing other parts of the cities and suburbs, please check out my playlist on the neighborhoods and suburbs of the Twin Cities. I have lots of good information there if you're trying to learn about the different areas. Thanks so much for checking out my video this week and have a great day.